Hello and welcome back to another video. So, um, I got curious to see how, what animal was the most profitable for the coop and the barn, and is that like how much each one would approximately make each year? Uh, so I go around, so I just decided to do that for fun, uh, because I do enjoy doing maths and this kind of stuff, so I thought I'd share it all with you. And so we're going to start with the coop, then go to the barn, and start from the bottom going up. Uh, so uh, the least, you know, least profitable to the most profitable. So for the coop, the least profitable animal it at uh, a pro at its about five hundred fifty-five thousand two hundred and seventy-two gold per year is. Uh, rabbits who, uh, you know, if you turn the wool into cloth, it has a chance of, uh, and it and it has a chance of being a rabbit's foot, which can increase the profit to, by twenty to six hundred and ninety eight per gold per rabbit foot. But the rabbit's feet are entirely luck based, so it was really impossible to factor into this. Um, so yeah. Next up is Dino Mayo at 215,040 gold per year. I think the main killer here was, firstly, dinos don't produce that much mayo, uh, that many eggs per month, I believe is one egg per four days, I think it's either four days or seven days. Um, and then you get, you take the egg, you put it into the mayo and you can only get regular quality and that is the real killer for the Dino Mayo, unfortunately. Next up is Duck Mayo at 352,800 gold per year, which is surprisingly... Well, I was surprised I t did more than Dino Mayo. I, I honestly thought Dino Mayo was going to be second best uh, when going into this, but Duck Mayo... Yeah, the ducks produce more me more eggs. Um, this does not include the duck feathers, which I forgot to actually check, but um, I can do that right now. Um, silly me. So if I just hop over to the wiki, wiki wiki wah, uh, go to ducks, And go under produce uh, every two days. Can be placed into an incubator. Blah blah blah. Duck feather uh, uh, may produce a duck feather instead. Of duck eggs, which sell for two fifty gold. So um, duck feathers can sell from two three hundred to six hundred. So let me do a quick bit of maths here. So. Um, Duck. Uh, this won't be calculated into the final thing because again, this is also look based, just like the rabbit's feet. So uh, the duck mayo is uh, only one quality, so five two five. So five twenty five. So getting a duck feather. Can is minimum three hundred minus five two five equals negative two five two twenty five duck feathers can can make negative two five right let me just double check I've forgotten yeah two two five sorry Two two five two so six hundred two twenty five three seventy three seven five So yeah duck feather can cost you can actually reduce your income by up to 225 but if it's a reading quality duck feather you're going to get 375 profit um and off the top of my head for the qualities uh silver and gold are still going to be profitable um 
relatively speaking. But if you get a regular quality duck feather, you're losing money at that point. Um, which is not good. Um, not surprisingly. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's actually a funny little thing that I didn't think about that. Um, the duck feathers would actually lose you money. Um, so, yeah. That is something. But I do believe that as you get later into the game and they get more hearts with you, I believe it, they are more likely to produce higher quality feathers, which means that you're probably not going to be too bad off, but uh, I can't, I don't know what the odds are uh, of that. So, uh, Duck Mayo. Next up is Void Chicken Mayo, Void Chickens with Void Mayo at 517,440 gold per year, which is not bad. Five, half, a, half a mil every year, so that's like, in two, two years you're getting one mil, which is not bad. Um, and this is for a full coup and, you know, and a full, yeah, is, so this is 12 void chickens, um, not a single void chicken. But by far and away, the most profitable coop animal, which should not be surprising if you know about this, because this is literally end, end game. Gold chickens, which you just sell the eggs, uh, with an approximate profit, not in, not really like factoring in um, quality here, because uh, I, I believe gold chicken, gold eggs can be, uh, can vary with quality, at Two million and sixteen thousand gold, approximately, per year. Which is which two two mil per year is nothing to sneeze at, now is it? All right, I'm going to take a quick break and be back with um the barn animals. Okay, so now the uh, barn animals. So. Uh, the least profitable. Now, this is uh, has a massive asterisk next to it because I do not know um, how likely it is to get the different quality of eggs with this uh, with the with this animal, and that, uh, um, that will impact the how much profit you can make. Now, if you have uh, you know this animal on your save and you've had a, and you know you've got a barn full. And you can like uh, look down in the description. That there's a link to the channel Discord. On there, you'll be able to find me. It's like, hey, I have ostriches in Stardew Valley. Um, I can send you uh, sc screenshots of like how of like how much like they produce every um, day, you know, every month, and then I can math that out to how much they produce every year. And uh, if somebody does do that, I'll uh, have a, a pinned comment where I will uh, say what the revised number here is. But at the bottom is Ostrich Mayo at a minimum profit uh, of 364,800 gold per year. The second and least profitable... Uh, uh, our goats with all gold goat cheese. Bear in mind, you can put them in ca caskets to eat them into iridium, and it doesn't take that long, so that's something you can do if you want to. But uh, that is a profit of 564,480 gold per year. Uh, next up is cows with 649,152 gold per year. Again, all gold, but to, um, something's in interesting here. Uh, cow cheese is worth less than goat cheese, but goats only produce uh, once every two days, I believe, while well, then cows or and cows produce once every day. So, and also a useful tip is that you can use uh, goat cheese and cow cheese in like uh, school cavern uh, 
and you know the volcano mines or whatever to recover your health because they are just really good at recovering your health and they have the same health benefits so cows are better and you get and you can get them in like the first barn so there's no reason to not get cows over goats now i gave these this animal every possible um you know advantage i could and it's sheep with that with turning all their wool into cloth with 90, 971,436 per year. That's with shepherd and with 900 plus friendship or four and a half hearts with a 30% and I gave a 30% boost for the, you know, quality of wool. But realistically... They're only going to make 294,784 gold per year, which is way down at the bottom and is less profitable than just about everything, really. That's not in a coop. Um, but yeah, now for these guys, I did pretty much the almost opposite for the sheep. Like, I, this is like the bare minimum you will make from pigs and turning their oil into truffle oil. So this is one pig, uh, sorry, this is a, this is 12 pigs for three months producing one truffle per day with a boost from the gatherer uh, with the percent chance of getting two truffles pit instead of one. At 1,798,146 gold per year minimum. And bear in mind, depending on your look, the pigs may produce more than one truffle per day. Meaning that this could, uh, that pigs can uh, probably uh, produce more than 2 million gold per year. So, yeah, that is a lot of money, especially considering that you don't need to do anything special to get pigs. You just need to get a ban, upgrade it to deluxe, and you got pigs. And bear in mind, sheep and pigs both unlock with deluxe man. Now, would you rather get pigs that make you almost, that'll make you about two mil per year, and bear in mind, I did factor in the fact that they don't produce during winter, so this is only for three months of the year. Or sheep, who only realistically produce 294,784 gold per year. Like, and then even if you wanted to, like, uh, spec to get sheep to produce as much as possible, that would funnel you into only being able to ha ha really have sheep, because... Doing that would mean that, that you, the profit, you'd lose about 40% profit from all other artisan goods. So that's not just pigs. That's also chickens, cows, um, wine, and juices. Just like So everything that's not a sheep would be making you less money if you wanted to spec into sheeps. So basically, don't spec into sheeps because they're shit. Um... But yeah, um, there were some surprises here. Like, um, I was surprised that um, Dino Mayo was so low. Uh, not super surprised about rabbits because they are like one of the first you can get. I'm surprised that again ducks being so high. Like, I would have thought it would have like for coops. I if, if I had to guess before this, I would have guessed golden chickens, Dino Mayo. Avoid chickens, chickens, uh, then ducks, and then rabbits. Um, but no. Ducks, uh, chickens are actually really damn good. Like, they, uh, they beat out everything else. And it's just like, they are literally just like one of the first things you get. And you, they just beat out literally everything. It's like, why would you get something that, why would you not buy, get a bunch of chickens that produce... Uh, half a mil a year, year instead of just like something that instead of like dinos which are much more difficult to get but they only produce about a quarter mil a year well not even that because yeah not even quarter mil a year 
Um, so yeah, and for the ban, I knew all along pig truffles were gonna come first, and yeah, sheep being like I was a bit surprised at how good sheep were if you spec into them, but again, that w- the amount of money you would lose from uh, having to spec into the sheep would pro- pro- would probably actually make them. Uh, would probably put their profitability into the negatives. Uh, and realistically, they are the least profitable out of all the animals. Um, I was a little bit surprised that, that cows produce every day, yet goats only produce ha- one every two days, I think it was, or something like that. And again, ostriches. I, I, was, I was a bit surprised, but I was like, I just don't have the... Uh, enough data for them so again if you have us have a full band of ostriches and you know dm me on discord uh send me just like how many just like send me just like screenshots of like how many eggs they produce every day and what the qualities are and um then uh i can and then just like send me that for like a month and then i should be able to approximate how much uh, money they make per year, and again, if I, if somebody does help me out with that, I'll pin that in the comments section below. But I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye bye.